Well, they say when something's too good to be true, it probably is. That's my chair that's squeaking. Just got in the mail. Made in China. Make sure you can see that. Kawasaki Donaldson filters. It's the inner and outer filter that's supposed to replace this. They show you a picture online. It, I can tell you it, this ain't Donaldson. All right. <laughs> Donaldson's made in USA. They, they source some of their filters or, that are made in Mexico, but this one says made in China, so it's definitely not Donaldson. Although it says Kawasaki, Donaldson, Kohler, blah, blah, blah. And on the website uh, for this filter on Amazon, they show an OEM Donaldson filter that has OEM Donaldson stamps, yada, yada, yada. So we're going to... Let's do this. Let's take this one apart one-handed and we're gonna just, this one is a little dirty. I have cleaned it, you know, inside the cap, whatnot. These you don't really wanna pull out, put back in, pull out, but you gotta be really careful. You gotta make sure it seals going back in and I'll show you that in a minute. So let's just pull out this filter. This is a filter that gets dirty, but it's still good. There's a lot of media on here, all right. So we're just going to set that over there for now. Here's the inner filter, the, I think this is called the secondary or the safety filter. I forget what. And there's that guy. So let's just set these, let's back up a little bit and we'll put them on the ground here. Bring this one down. We'll just stand it up and put that one there. So now let's unbox this guy. <laughs> Tell you this is this is a joke oh by the way like $15 for both filters there's no way in hell like you can't even buy that filter for 15 bucks these these filters are probably around 50 60 dollars maybe 40 you know shop around I saw this and OEM Donaldson and all that I'm like this is too good to be true I'm gonna buy it though just to prove a point here hang on a second there we go Toss the box over there. Let's see what else. Anything else in the box? No, just that sticker. So here's this guy. <laughs> here's the safety filter. We'll look at this closely, closely in a minute. And then we'll pull out this filter. Hang on just a second. Bear with me one-handed here. All right. And we'll flip this upside down here. And we'll look at these a little bit closer here in just a moment. So now, right out of the box, you can see on these guys, there's the, the Donaldson logo, right? Right there. And that's the Donaldson part number there. There's the manufacturer's date. This one is made in USA, okay. Um, but yeah. And hard to tell, well, they are a little different in height, just like eighth of an inch maybe. Um, but this is, I can feel it now, this is a very soft foam. Uh, whereas this is very hard. That's more thick, dense, squishy. This is harder, almost like a hockey puck kind of texture to it. And there's no markings. There's no Donaldson logo. It's obviously different right out right out of the box. Um, slip them on their side here. I don't have any means to test airflow or, or pull water column or do anything fancy. But the there's the media is it looks close. Obviously the wire screen is different. Uh, let's get it over to the seam on this one. I'll tell you what, let's put this safety filter. Put the safety filter on on each side so they don't roll away from me and let's roll this over to the seam shoot where is the seam they did a good job lining it up i know that's not uh, intentional I the feel for this thing there it is right there there's the seam right where my finger is can't even see it it's lined up perfectly what are the odds and then there's obviously the seam right here, and I can feel this. That's pretty thick. Hang on, is this lifting up? Yeah, it's lifting up right here. Yeah, the seam's lifting up just a little bit, but I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. 
this filter probably has 20, no, 10 hours on it, maybe 15, 10 hours, somewhere around there. Now let's look at this side. So here it says P-U-R. This is really squishy. See that? I know it's not in focus, but there we go. And this, I mean, it's... You can hear the difference, too. So that's different. This is a little taller. Different uh, screen on the inside as well. But these, this is obviously a knockoff. All right, so let's check out the inner filters here. And you can see... Huh, this says P-U-R on it as well, and that does too, but this is very, and this is uh, very soft, very squishy, and the knockoff is very hard, very thick. Okay, big color difference, <laughs> and for reference here, I'm recording this with a cell phone, oops. As for reference, there's a Milwaukee red color, so you can tell the, the difference on the bottom. This is OEM Donaldson. There's the part number. This one's made in Mexico. Do not clean. May 21, manufacturer date, and this has got nothing. No markings on it. And no markings on that one. An obvious different media and screen. Where's the seam on this one? Right there. Nice and tight. And this one is right here. It's loose. Ooh, that's coming up. Let me get this in the shot here. It'll focus. Look at it. Oh man, it just comes right. I'm being barely. It's already falling apart. Did you hear it? Yep, look at that. It's just, it wasn't even barely held on there. Let's see if we can do that with the Donaldson. I'll ruin a filter for you guys. I want to see if this is made, quality made. Yeah, I can't. I'm just trying to lift the seam. It's not budging. But this one here, doing the same thing. You feel it and hear it? Let me come down to this end where I haven't raised it up. Yeah, it's just... Well, that one's tight, but this is all, look at that, nope, so there you go, often imitated, never duplicated properly, the OEM Donaldson filter is the only thing that'll go in my machine, uh, these ni uh, Chinese knockoffs <laughs> are not going to go in my machine. I don't care what filter. I wonder if they just went to a fabric store and said, eh, close enough, put it in there. <laughs> Is this even air filter media? Has this even been tested, flow tested? What's the static pressure on this one when it's clean and when it's at capacity at 8 inches of water column? So what, is there any anything to back this up? It's surely going back. And I'm going to take some, some pictures of this and maybe post it on Amazon as well. I, I mean, this this video review is good enough, but... The old saying, you get what you pay for. If you want to put these filters in your machine, that's up to you. If you're, you know, pinching pennies, if you'd rather spend $20 than $40 or $50, $60, then, you know, so be it. But I wouldn't trust these uh, in my machine. There's, you never know. It's just that one time. It just takes one component or one piece of debris or, or maybe a failure from any one of these filters. It might be a stretch. It might be a long shot. But it just takes one little piece, man, one little piece to, to get into the carburetor or in the rockers and have something come loose or get, get stuck on you. And it's just like, oh, man, what a headache. So, all right, guys, just wanted to show you real quick these filters. Obviously, they're, uh, they're fake. All right, thanks for watching.